Terrell Lewis was a five-star elite pass rushing prospect who was more highly recruited out of high school and ranked ahead of guys like Nick Bosa, Brian Burns, and Jeffrey Simmons. Unfortunately, he never got to play a full season at Alabama. He missed more than two full seasons due to various injuries, including an arm injury and a torn ACL. He showed a ton of potential in 2019. He lived in opponents' backfields and had six sacks, 12 tackles for loss in only 10 games. He had 35 pressures in only 259 snaps. Insane production and had a huge impact when he returned from injury for the national championship game against Georgia. He came up big in the 2018 college football national title game. Coming back from an injury, he had seven tackles, and in overtime, he had a huge sack on Jake Fromm that held the team to a field goal, and then Alabama would score and win the national championship, thanks in large part to Terrell Lewis's big-time sack. He only played 14 games over his three seasons at Alabama. In the NFL so far, he's appeared in 30 games with seven starts in just under three years. His knee problems followed him to the NFL, but for the most part, he has remained relatively healthy, and he was set up for a huge season this year. There were multiple articles from Rams reporters about how they thought this would be Lewis's breakout season. He came into the season healthy and started out the season playing very well in limited snaps. Even though he wasn't a starter, he provided a pass rush spark and had seven tackles, one sack, and an interception off of Josh Allen and a tackle for loss in the first three weeks of the season. He played roughly 50% of the snaps on defense early in the season, but he never broke out. In a Week 12 loss to the Kansas City Chiefs, Lewis played a season-low 14 snaps and didn't record a snap. Afterwards, he was placed on waivers. Lewis has the prototypical size for a defensive end. He's six foot five, 262 pounds, and just dripping with upside. He has six sacks in three seasons after the Rams picked him in the third round of the 2020 NFL Draft. He has insane first step explosion and bend around the edge and enough tools that any defensive line coach would jump at the chance to work with. He has the potential to be a true sack artist in the NFL. So why wasn't he claimed on waivers? Why did the Rams cut him? And if Poles liked him enough to sign him to the practice squad, why didn't we claim him? I'm going back into the film room once again to check out some tape on Terrell Lewis and see what we have. I think it's very possible that he gets called up to the active roster this week with Taco Charlton being released, we need another edge rusher on game days. There's a small chance that the other athletic freak, we have two of them on our practice squad now at edge rusher, but the other one, Chilean-born Samus Reyes, there's always a chance it could be him, but I do expect it to be Terrell Lewis called up this week. Let's get right into the film breakdown. So I'm watching the tape, the Rams All-22 tape, and time just keeps going by. I'm going play, 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 and I haven't seen Terrell Lewis yet. This is the first play he enters the game, and they have him lined up in the slot. We're going to watch here, see if they send him on a rush. They're not going to, by the way. They have him in zone coverage out here. This is, this is your freak pass rusher. The Rams have him play in zone coverage and are basically going to have him drop to the outside to take away the flat. If he got a little bit more depth, he could have stopped this Hollywood Brown catch, but that's that would be a pretty hard play right there. Um, but they have him out here. I, I don't know what the Rams were doing with him here. Like, send him to rush the passer. Next play, hey, they at least have him lined up on the edge. It's a good sign. This is the first time he rushes the passer all game. 
He's going to get about two steps. Murray's going to release it quick. Look at his effort here trying to block the ball, though, trying to deflect it away. Oh, so close. Connor gets it. Not much to see on that one. Third play, what do they have him doing? Dropping outside to play in zone coverage again. They got him dropping out here. This one he does a good job. He takes away the quick pass here to the receiver. A good job in coverage. And then he's on the running back in the flat. Look right here. When Kyler would have went to throw this, look at Lewis. He would have jumped that route and took it to the end zone. And then when the running back tries to readjust and turn it upfield, look at him keeping the hands on him and the speed to stay with him. Kyler Murray gets sacked. This is a good play in coverage. I don't really like him out here in coverage, but, hey, I mean, he's even showing some potential out there as well. And then here we go. The first time of the game, the Rams are going to send him on a blitz. We're going to watch here. Oh, yeah, let's take that back. First time really getting to rush the passer here. Now watch. Good release off the line. That first step quickness. How he attacks the edge. Uses his strength to disengage the offensive lineman. Get rid of his hands. Push him forward. He waits to see what Kyler does here. Kyler tries to break it inside. Look at this play. Nope. That's a sack. Terrell Lewis, baby. He's going to get one more. He doesn't have many opportunities to rush the passer in this game, but here's going to be another one on Humphreys. It's going to be a quick pass, but he's got the explosion off the line. And then here's where you get to see a little bit of his bend around the edge here. Look at his bend around the edge, forcing Kyler to get rid of this ball quickly. But he was coming. That's a good play. You can't really see it here. It's kind of blurry. But this is Terrell Lewis sacking uh, Russell Wilson in the open field here. Look at the closing speed. This one, it looks like he got it away, but we can see on the replay here. Just look at Terrell Lewis. We're going to slow this one down. Grabbing Russ. You'll see the knee go down here before he gets rid of the ball. Point. That play is just awesome. I love it. This is what the Rams like to do with him. They like to drop him in coverage. It's a play from his rookie season. See here he's going with the tight end. Pass is going to be a quick pass over the middle to Gronkowski. Watch Terrell Lewis lay him out. Boom. Gronk is down. So he does have some natural instincts in coverage. I still like him as a pass rusher. I just don't know why the Rams didn't use him as a pass rusher as much as they should have. We got to play against the Bears here, okay? We get to see Terrell Lewis on the edge up here. Watch Terrell Lewis. This is going to be him right here on a fourth and one Chicago Bears. He's going to fight off the Von Wims block here. Boom. Woo. This was probably one of his most impressive plays. Um, this was Josh Allen's first interception of the season. Watch him here just drop into zone coverage. Kind of hanging with Dawson Knox right here. Josh Allen goes to release it to Isaiah McKenzie. Terrell Lewis recognizes it. And we'll watch in slow motion what happens here. He gets there right when the ball does. He hits him. And takes the ball away. And that's an interception. That's Terrell Lewis, baby. When he does get to rush the passer, you see his explosive traits. Watch here. He's on the left side. Going against the left tackle. Good explosion off the line. Look at him use his length and his long wingspan 
and his strength to push the offensive tackle back, close the gap. He just can't get the sack on this one. He's close, but he's back there getting the pressure and breaking the play up. And this is what you love to see. We don't see a lot of this from our defensive line right now. We could sure use a guy like this on the field. So I watched five full games of all 22 film from this season on Terrell Lewis. And my biggest takeaway is that the Rams didn't play him enough. And when they did, they rarely had him rushing the passer. He spent way more time in zone coverage than he did going after opposing quarterbacks. This was a travesty to me. His specialty is his burst and rushing the passer. But the Rams continued dropping him into coverage. I debated showing more plays, but most of the time he's in coverage or the play is away from him, and there's just not much to break down. Plus, I have a ton of other videos coming for this weekend. A lot of Lewis's athletic traits have translated well at the NFL level. His first step quickness and bend around the edge. Our defensive end rotation has been abysmal this season. Dominique Robinson has flashed a lot of potential as a fifth-round rookie, but Travis Gibson and Alquadine Muhammad have been non-factors most of the season. Eberflus said recently that Justin Jones should get some reps outside at end this week, but without Taco Charlton, I expect Terrell Lewis to be activated on game day. There is a slim chance that Chilean-born Samus Reyes could be called up, but I expect it to be Lewis. Lewis's game is more refined as he's played the position a lot longer and his biggest problem has been staying healthy. Considering how bad our pass rush has been this season and the sky-high potential that Lewis has, I'm actually surprised he hasn't been added to the active roster yet. He has the prototypical size, speed, length, and athleticism to play defensive end in this system. I'm really high on Lewis. It's possible his knee will never be 100% and he will never live up to the potential he had five years ago, but he is an immensely talented athlete and has the potential to be a sack artist in the NFL. I think he fits best as a situational pass rusher. He didn't have many opportunities against the run with the Rams, but he could struggle if thrown into a starting role too soon. He has more potential than anyone on our defensive line outside of maybe Dominique Robinson, who is also an athletic freak. If Lewis gets called up and gets a chance on Sunday, I for one will be rooting for him and keeping a close eye on him. Let me know in the comments what you think about Terrell Lewis. I know some fans are getting tired of these low risk, high reward signings from Ryan Poles, but fear not. The offseason is almost upon us, and it'll be time for our front office to open up the wallet, setting up one of the most important offseasons in franchise history. And I'll be here covering every move, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and remember to hit that like button for me. Until next time, bear down!